Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Ruins of Sin Reactions. I'm Nightwish Ruin. I'm Sacrifice Sin. Um, and another reaction. Well, this is definitely more of a review. Um, <laughs> Diablo Swing Orchestra is the band. Lucy Fears the Morning Star is the name of the song. And, you know, we definitely know this band. We love them. Um, I think they got... It really threw me for a loop the first time I heard them. I'm like... Yeah. I'm like, is that... I'm like, wow. Well, it was like three China. or four different types of music combined into one. I'm like, you wouldn't think that that would work, but yeah. it really does. Well, when I had first heard them a long time ago, back on MySpace, but I came across their um, their profile, and I don't know what it was, but at the time, I don't know what, I forget what songs were on there, but they didn't really grab me. But then a few years later... I somehow found them on YouTube, and Bedlam 6 was the first song. I definitely remember it was Bedlam 6. That song, I don't know if any of you fans out there, that's a very just out there song, the lyrics and everything. <laughs> and that's the first one that I showed you, I well, believe. I thought it was a top dance was the one. No, I think, because I remember I'm like, that. I just saw like the weirdest, like, it was just that, just, just the song, but it was mm. so weird. Oh. Well, Let's get into this so we can show yeah. these guys, unless they already know it. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not gonna tell you much more about them, but you know you'll <laughs> you'll hear it. It's just like the music and all that and then like when like it's just that calm I'm not even sure what to call it like you hear like the I guess some kind of horn I think in the beginning going along and then when that metal hits 
mm -hmm. that, the drum beat hits. It's like awesome. And then when she starts singing, some people are be kind of like, that's a weird vocal style because <laughs> it's it's operatic definitely but it's also like she's got a clean she's got belting she's yeah, got operatic um, and then you even get the guy with the like uh kind of like a little bit of a growl type deal well yeah what i like is that that synthesized part before the mm -hmm. chorus there I, I guess you call it the chorus it happens twice but um, I think it's just part of the chorus, or some people say like the pre-chorus or whatever, mm. but that like synthesized voice, that's actually a guy doing that. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people would probably think, oh, that's that definitely sounds female. It's like, yeah, um, watch it live. It's, it's a guy that does it. In fact, I think live is like two of them that do it together. But, mm. um, I just love in, like you had said, in the that chorus, the loud opera, you can hear in the undertones, if you're actually listening with headphones, you can hear a, like a deep yeah, guttural you hear growl. one of the other guys. Yeah, <clears throat> just a deep guttural growl, like very undertone, very I think hidden. it's the bassist that does mm. that. I can't remember though. I'm not sure what he is, if he's the guitarist or the bassist, but... It's been so long since I've seen a live one, I don't remember. He does a few things, I think, on the albums. Mm -hmm. That's where all like you know, a lot of the sounds come and, in live. Yeah, one of the horns is either a trumpet or a trombone. I know those yeah. two are in... They, like use, they use the trumpet a lot. I do know that they, they have a specific trumpet player, especially live. Mm -hmm. He's a backup vocalist at times. I know that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the only problem, I do have to admit live, they're not as... It's not as big, but because they don't have... I mean, a lot of it's on playback because of, mm. the, you know, one person plays like four different things and they can't get oh, it yeah. on or something like that. But, uh. but they do seem fun live. I've seen one, they're like, okay, time for shots. And even the <laughs> singer, which a lot of times the singer, especially if they're operatic, they won't do a shot. But she's just, she did it before they actually all did it. She's like, I need one now. <laughs> Shut up. I need one. I need mine now. But anyways, yeah, let's get back into this. Yep.
really flip that song. <laughs> yeah, it must have been a while since I've heard that one. It... <laughs> forgot about the cowbell. <laughs> well, uh, forgot it, for, yeah, I forgot about the cowbell, and I just forgot how, like, all over the place that song is. Yeah, that's the main reason I wanted to do this one, because... Mm. I mean, yeah, I know you love a tap dancer's dilemma, but to me, that just shows like maybe two top, two styles. A lot Three. of people, well, yeah, but there to me, I, even though I've heard you know a lot of people say the band themselves say that they're not metal, it's like you every I think there's like some metal in there. I think I've only heard maybe two songs that didn't have like hard you know, hard music, and mm -hmm. every other song had metal sounding in it. So I always call them avant garde metal. That's what I call them. For if you want to get into a subgenre, that's what I call them, mm -hmm. because you can't say, "Oh yeah, swing, jazz," because they're everything. They're a lot of yeah. different styles. So I mean, you you can go on a, a one of their videos like this, or just even an official video, oh, and just see it. how many people trying to decipher what type of metal or what type of music they are. <laughs> and sometimes there's yeah, arguments. Spend, like, uh, Sixteen. Days yeah. trying to figure that I've out. seen not so much arguments, but like just literally like debates about like <laughs> what they are. It's like just just say avant garde or avant garde metal at least, but they're mm -hmm. they're definitely that. Um, and I love that that end too. That the end where it starts off wicked hard, and then it's still going hard, but you hear like the, the I don't know like it's it's a trumpet. Yeah, but like almost sounds like salsa and merengue style music. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure I don't know exactly, but I just literally picture. And I've seen other people say this in other comments. Picture a circle pit with like either one couple or a few couples dancing in the middle. <laughs> That's is what you picture. I picture at the end, big time at a concert. That's just. Uh, I don't know about that because a circle pit is like the whole circle is moving like this. <laughs> I don't think anyone would be able to stop and just start dancing. They get plowed over. Well, no. What I'm saying, a circle pit, like they actually have the the. That's just called a pit. Well, what I mean by circle pit is the the around. It, it's like almost like you're doing a, a whirlpool, but without mm -hmm. one, without being in a pool. Just everyone around the outside is moving. Everyone on the inside is either jumping around or there's no one on the inside. Or, like, the ones that go on the inside are the ones that kind of, like, you know, plow into each other. Yeah, but that's like the that. thing. Most of the time when it's a circle pit, it's, like, the whole thing. And what they do is, like, come on, I want to see this place go. And it's, like, you'll see the, the singer go like this. And then you just see yeah. everyone just running around the same way in a circle. And it's just, like, yeah, I'd hate to fucking be the one that trips. Yeah, Because you're not going to be able to, uh, you're either going to have to have someone, like, yank your ass up real quick or you're going to get trampled. Yeah, you're going to have to be, like, um, on Harry Potter 3, when uh, Hermione's getting, uh, she's on the Whipping Willow, or Whomping Willow. <laughs> Whomping Willow. And she just grabs Harry, throws him. He's just like, Yeah, yeah. Oh. We like Harry Potter, do with it. <laughs> just, I'm just saying that, but, that's, but you'd have to be, like, you'd be going around, you'd have to pick someone up as fast as you possibly can by the back mm -hmm. of their shirt. But anyways, what I know what a circle pit is, but I'm just saying, like, what I'm mm -hmm. talking about, like, just the, the outside. A modified circle pit. Because I've seen it where like it's partial circle pit, like the outside's doing like a, like a whirlpool mm -hmm. almost without water, and then people inside they're like you know doing their own like they're gonna like bash into each other like actual moshing. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is instead of those people doing that, like people dancing, that's what I picture in, in you know at that part. Oh, I've seen a pit at Rob Zombie. They opened it up. They were going, and then they stopped because it was a little bit slower, and a girl was just dancing in the center. I remember that. But, um, yeah, back to Diablo. The, oh, I am great. so glad that you've showed me these guys. Hell, I'm so glad I rediscovered <laughs> them, because, you know, just one but, day. Holy and, shit. Um, this, I believe, is their second album. Yeah, they have four albums. Mm -hmm. Their first album was Butcher's Ballroom. This is their second album, off their second album, which is... Uh, yeah, right. Sing Along Songs for the Damned and Delirious. Yeah, third, so I just told you. Yeah, the third album is Pandora's Pinata. Mm -hmm. That's with all of the, the first singer, and then their fourth album. They in between that they had like God, it was I don't even how many years. It was a long time. It was at least five, they got a singer years. kind of right away. Um, she's more of like the if you her voice vocal style would be more of like the piano with like you know twenties thirties style kind of to me that like her sound. But mm -hmm. she has aspects too. There's a really good song that when we do them again, we might um, we'll probably do that shows off her versatility a little more. 
mm. with the new singer. Um, but this old singer, she, I guess she left because she wanted to pursue more of, of her solo opera career. Mm. Um, <laughs> but yes, I, you know, lo love all three albums, well, all four albums, I should say. Um, the third, the fourth one, there's some songs I'm just like, no, oh, it's too, like, they only had, you know, it was a little plain, not plain in the sense, but like, it didn't have much um, versatility and, you know, it was like one style of music, but just well, in general, love this band. Yeah, and I don't really have much else. I could probably talk about it all day, but I'd be repeating myself probably a lot. Yeah, but. so if you guys like this video, hit the like button. Uh, right. If you're liking our content, <laughs> hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Um, and let us know what you think about this band, if you like them, if you don't. Uh, if you want to hear something else by them or any other band, drop a comment yeah, down below. Hopefully people stuck around to, to yeah. the end here. I mean, um, um, And other than that, Later. Yeah, see you guys.